jump your hands together for Jesus as we're seated. Glory to God. Come on, come on, turn to your neighbor and say, the Spirit of the Lord lives in me. I can hear you look for two people. Tell them the Spirit of the Lord lives in me. I can hear you. The Spirit of the Lord lives in me. If you know the Spirit of the Lord is inside of you, how do you rejoice? Up oh, next, so you know how we do it. How, what do you do with the revelation and the knowledge that you are not ordinary, you are not alone? Come on, somebody rejoice. I can hear you. Somebody rejoice. Somebody show glory. The same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwells inside of me and quickens my mortal body to the glory of God. I can hear you. Where does that spirit live? Where does that spirit live? Somebody shout glory! Somebody shout glory! I am a life carrier. I'm a life carrier. Out of my belly shall flow rivers. Rivers! Is it of dead water? Is he of dead water? Is he of dead water? Is he of dead water? If he's of living water, if he's of living water, how come there are dead things around you? Let that river flow. I give you two minutes out of your belly. Somebody raw. Somebody raw. Devil, enough is enough. Pack your things and get out. Living water. Living water. Living water. I hear laughter in the Holy Ghost. Somebody you want to begin to laugh. Living water, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, out of my belly flows living water. Everywhere that water goes, anything that is dead must come back to life. Life see death. Hey, oh death, where is your sting? Living water. I'll still give you two seconds. I'm not done yet. Living water. Living water. Ezekiel 47. Everywhere the water went, it began to do things. Anybody in need of healing in this place? Living water is flowing. Come on. Begin to do the things you could not do before. Living water. Living water. Living water. Is it your mind that needs illumination? Living water. Is it your marriage? Living water. Whatever it is, living water. Is it your finances? Living water. Is it your career? One more time. If you know you are living and you are alive and you are a dispenser of life, give the Lord a shout of praise. This is a shouting camp. This is a rejoicing camp. See what the Lord has done. What we waited for has come to pass. Living water. Reservoir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ja, da, 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 da. Living water. Hallelujah. Amen. Now sit like the carrier of the living water. Glory to God. I'd like to celebrate some of our friends in the house. Can we celebrate Dr. Pastor Ari all the way from the United States? We celebrate you. Ah, uh -uh. come on. Up nation. We love you, sir. Pastor Bukola, all the way from Dubai. Can we celebrate her? And my mommy all the way from Lagos. Can you celebrate her? I was still psyching her yesterday for the gala she tied. And I saw her, I'm like, oh wow, what a great surprise. Somebody say follow. So we started the series, Making of a Disciple. And we stopped at the place. Let's open our Bibles to so Matthew chapter 4, verse 19 to 20. Glory to God. Glory to God. Anybody followed better this week? Mm. Anybody follow Jesus better this week? Victor, you follow Jesus better this week? Come on, give your neighbor an high five. If you know you follow Jesus better this week, give that neighbor an high five. Amen. Don't worry, if you are going to follow, we don't judge you. Amen. By the time you're done today, you will realize that there is a life that happens when you follow Jesus. Matthew 4, 19 to 20. I'm going to use... TPT. Give me um, Passion's translation, please. It says, and after Jesus called out to them and said, come and follow me. 
and I will transform you into men who catch people for God. The next verse. Let's read it together. I want to go. I can hear you. Want to go? They dropped their nets and left everything behind to follow Jesus. And we said the first thing was the call of the disciples to follow me. That's an invitation not to just follow Jesus physically, but into deep relationship as disciples. Follow me. Hallelujah. The next he said in that verse 19, we go back to 19. He says, I will make you fishers of men. Other translation, TPT said, I will transform you into men that catch people for God. Meaning your present state is not enough to catch people for God. At best, you will catch fish. But when you follow me, I will make you into someone that will catch people for God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Before we go on, I want us to do this as a practice. Um, guys, you want me to change my mic? Are we good? All right. Let's open our Bibles again to the book of Isaiah 55, verse 11. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father, for your word. As we go into your word, we ask that it changes our lives in Jesus' name. Look at Psalms, Isaiah 55, verse 11. He said, it's the same when I give my word to people. It's the same when I give my word to people. It will not return to me without any results. No, my word does what I want it to do. What I promise to do will certainly happen. I want to give you this. Every time we come to the church to receive the word of God, is that the word of God is on an errand. And it can't come back without delivering the message. So every time you receive, come to receive the word, open your spirit. Let it do its work. Hebrews chapter 4 said the word of God is sharper than two-edged sword. Piercing. Meaning there's no mindset the word of God cannot pierce if you allow it. Amen? So somebody say, I'm ready for the word. I'm, ready for the word. I'm changed by the word. I'm transformed by the word. And I receive the word with all humility and joy. All right, thank you. So let's go back to our scripture. Matthew 4. So he said, follow me. And the next is that I will make you. It is a follow me and I will use you. He said, follow me and I will make you. Because the making is necessary before the using. And the way it is, it's not that you graduate from making. No, it's, it's a continuous lifestyle. You are being made forever. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Now, the second thing we must look in that scripture is immediate obedience. The first thing we noted was the, was the call to discipleship, verse 18. Verse 20 says, immediately, somebody say immediately. immediately. You cannot appreciate that until you go to the book of John chapter 5. Can we go to you know, John 5 or Luke 5? I think it's Luke 5. The scripture about the nets. Is it John 5 or Luke 5? I think it's John 5. Glory to God. For you to see what they left to follow Jesus. Glory to God. No, no, it's not John 5. It's Luke. It's Luke 5. Thank you so much. Mm, Bible scholars. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 5. If you go to Jesus met them, asked for their boat. They've told all night and caught nothing. Verse 4. When he had finished speaking. So let me tell you, typically Jesus showed up. He saw their struggle. But he didn't solve the problem first. He, he, he allowed them to make the room for him to step in. Now verse 4 says, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, now go out where it is deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master, we have walked out all night and caught nothing. But if you say so, we let down our nets. The Bible says, verse 6, this time their nets were so full of fish, they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in other boats and soon both boats were filled with fish at the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please leave. I'm such a sinful man. For he was awestruck by the number of fish he had caught. His partners, his partners James and John, the son of Zebedee, were, so, were also amazed. Jesus replied, Do not be afraid. Aya, do not be afraid. From now, you will be fishing for men. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. That is the context of that scripture. Matthew chapter 4. When the Bible says that they left, he said, follow me and I'll make you. And I'll show you as we go on in this series, the people that beg for time to go and do one or two before they follow. Every call demands that you follow immediately. He doesn't ask that, let me negotiate. The Bible says, if you use other translation, he said, and they did not think about it. They did not ask any question. They followed him. He demonstrates a remarkable level of commitment and urgency. They did not hesitate 
or delay, we speak to the authenticity of the desire to follow Jesus. Let me tell you something. If what you are after is what Jesus can do, you will get what Jesus can do and you will turn back from Jesus. Or you get what Jesus can do, be satisfied and not keep pursuing. This was after a great miracle. Somebody say great miracle. Imagine what you have been waiting for all your life. You have told all night. And the net began to break. And that is why the essence of coming to him is not to gather more miracle, but to follow him. Because you know what has happened? If there's, you know, I'm thinking the rational way is be. If we stay with the fish, we can't reproduce this. But if we follow him, we won't just reproduce this, but we can become people that can also do this. Didn't this happen? A lot of us are very short-sighted. We receive the blessing and you take the blessing and leave the blesser. And that's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and every other thing shall be added. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to tell you that today God is calling you and is asking you to follow immediately. In our cultural context, in the cultural context of that time, for a man to leave his job and family to follow a teacher was a significant sacrifice. I don't think it's only then. Even now, they left everything. Ladies and gentlemen, they left everything and they followed Jesus. Number three, what we learned from that scripture, number one, I said, was the call of discipleship. Number two was immediate obedience. Number three was the call of the ordinary. These guys were just common people. And it speaks about how God will, God's ministry is inclusive and accessible. He's not looking for you to be qualified to use you. He's not looking for the best, you're you to boast, I have the best brain to be used by God. Number four, theological implication. He set the stone to mean that what it means to be the disciple of Jesus. It involves living behind your former ways of life and embracing new identity in Christ. This is both personal and communal. Meaning that the theological implication is this. If you say you are a disciple of Jesus, I want to see that you are following Jesus. We have a lot of stationary, stationary Christians. They are not following nobody. They are not following Jesus. They are following their emotions. What is the topic of the day? It doesn't feel right. As a disciple, it's not first about your feelings, what God has said. We said it extensively last week. Follow him. And I told you how following Jesus, we use Pastor Luminous testimony as an example. Following Jesus, would, is it whatever you are struggling, follow Jesus. That's one. Guess two. Number two, follow Jesus so that you can see your best version. Your best version is embedded in following. And I will show you, Peter in his mind could not have imagined to become the man that he would be. Ayaka, Supredeba. At best, a series, Peter was catching fish. He was a professional fish catcher. He had, he, 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 when, when fish see Peter, they run. <laughs> now, why they not get see fish that day? <laughs> when fish see Peter, they run. Why? They are about to be cooked. They say, eh, but that P is in the building. Oh, yeah, everybody. Scatter. That's why he said we have told all night. He's a professional fisherman. But God is saying to you, listen, you think you have seen the best. When you follow me, there is a you that will emerge not by how many, how many ten steps, but by following Jesus. He's not a formula. The only thing that he responds to is following Jesus. It's like you get before a door and you're looking for a key. The key that unlocks your best version is in following Following Jesus and be discipled. At best, you will catch fish. You will sell the fish and make money. Aya! But in that fisherman that is catching Titus and Kote and Pala, in that fisherman was an apostle that will be the phone of the foundation of the church. In that fisherman was a man that will write and follow Jesus. And after 2,000 years, we are still talking about Brother Peter. How could Peter have known what his life would have been like? Imagine he has stayed with fish. What are you choosing to stay with at the expense of following Jesus? Because of... <laughs> Somebody say follow. follow. Somebody say follow. follow. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go to the cost of following Jesus. Number one, self-denial. Any Christianity, you know, Lord Jesus... The Christianity that tells you, yes, God has done it all. So you have nothing, you know. Imagine my husband has done it all. Example, we're married, so he pays the bills, and then there's no food. I don't do anything to keep the house clean, to cook. I say, because he has done it all. It shows that I'm irresponsible. Anybody, any, any Christianity that puts all the... All the responsibility on Jesus. He didn't ask you to come and die again on Golgotha. 
he asks you to die daily. So meaning, you're not necessarily going to carry a physical cross as it were, but there is a cross you will carry. Jesus said, carry your, follow me. Number one, cost of following Jesus is self-denial. Luke 9, 23, if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. It's a daily thing, meaning the temptation to go back to office will come. Ladies and gentlemen, it happened to Peter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He left everything you know, to follow Jesus. Oh, yeah, but he still had his expertise. Maybe he had a great franchise because I want to believe they didn't waste that fish. Some people, they, there's a conglomerate that collected the fish. God, God is not a wasteful God. They didn't, and they, ah, follow me. So the fish go back into the water. That's not what happened. They still wanted that. But what am I saying? He said, follow me daily, meaning there will be temptation to leave it. How? A time will come, Matthew 13 talks about the seed that falls to the ground. A time will come where you begin asking, what does this make sense? I followed him, he has gone back. The Bible says that Peter went back to fishing. But there's something about following God. That you might make mistakes, you might miscalculate. You know, when Jerry was talking about alignment, God has, in his mercies, he has a way of aligning you. The Bible says that when Peter went back to fishing, as he was coming, he said, have you caught anything? He was still responding. When he saw once, I said, hey, I know this one. Do you know God so that when he calls you, you can recognize him? And that's the power of following and building memories with him. So number one is self-denial. You have to deny yourself. Number two is sacrificial living. Matthew 16, 24 to 25. Jesus explained that those who wish to save their life will lose it. But those who lose their life for his sake will find it. Matthew 16, 24, 25. The idea is that true fulfillment and purpose come not from clinging to worldly comfort, but following Jesus. You want to follow Jesus, you must embrace fasting. You must embrace praying. You must embrace not trying to be right, but living for the truth of God. Amen. I'm going somewhere. Number three, hey, cost of following God. Family and relationships. Somebody say amen. Luke 14, 26 says, if anyone comes to me and does not hate his own father and mother. Now people have asked, you must understand the, issue, the concept of money, uh, language. What we're saying is that if you love anybody above me, you have gotten all of it. I say, my, I love my, my husband. Oh, it's the air that I breathe. You no, know, Pure and I always joke. Some, I mean, how many of you feel this way? When you use some words for your spouse, you say, Father, forgive me, Father, forgive me. It just, how many of you feel that way? It just feels one kind. Religious people. He understands, but I get what you mean. Because sometimes I'm like, I'm like oh, without you, my life is not complete. I say, hey, but he completes before I marry you. <laughs> But what I'm saying is this. Those of you that you think until you marry, your life will not be made. You are making a mistake. Because you see, when it comes to following Jesus, and that's why I pray for singles, you will not marry a fool. Yeah. Because let me break it down for you. You see, when it comes to marriage, the issue of submission, I love the way Pastor Blessing Awashika says it. If you marry somebody, and if God help you, you're a woman, you marry somebody that doesn't value God or your God relationships. I've seen people that they've told them to stop going to prayer calls. I've seen people that have told them, you pray too much, you go to places. Listen, darling. You see, purpose, you have sacrificed purpose on the altar of man, of marriage. Some people tell you, it doesn't matter. Leave it, boy, it's chaotic, sir. You have seen for pastors tell you that, no, don't leave. I mean, I don't know about that one, no. What I know is that First Peter chapter 3 is your portion. First Peter chapter 3 said that you will not be living your life in a way, hoping that someday this man or this one will come and see that, hey, God is good in your life. It will happen, but it's time. You want to follow Jesus, it will cost you your relationship. It will cost you some relationship. Do you have some people that you love them so much, but you can't hang with them? Because every time you hang with them, you are farther away from the purposes of God. Anybody like that? Some of them, guess what? There are some believers that there's nothing wrong with them. But you realize that every time you interact with them, when you are done, something has left you. Virtue has left you. you are, if you have been around some people that you are down, all of a sudden, you're like... Hey, I was listening to Papa this morning. He said, some people say that, Papa, you are far gone. He said, do you know how far away I'm from what Jesus has done? You know people that be like, ah, um, Samuel, you are giving a lot for God. I used to be feeling like, wow, give a lot for God. That all you do is Sunday, oh. giving a lot for God. That you know that you are still struggling to pay 30 minutes. Like, your own is too much. But you need those friends. Those relationships. Iron that sharpens iron. When you say rebo, they are saying shesuke. Do you understand? You know those kind of friends that you pick up your phone. You just go black at two. You are not for me. You, you are pressed on all sides. 
at this point that you just need them. If you don't stand with me, I am God. And they don't need any pre-memo to know that you need prayer. The moment you carry the phone, you are on the phone together. Brakida, this. And when you are done, say, Amen, Selah. I can do all things. It will cost you your relationship. Do not be unequally yoked with, unbel with, with unbelievers. People, somebody said recently, it's not only unbel unbelieving believers. Yeah. It's unfortunate, but we have that. People that now carry Christianity as a poster child, I go to church. I don't care if you go to church. Church is hospital. There are all kinds of people that are there. Hospital, there are people that have to be discharged one day. Some people are there permanently taking treatments till God knows when. It will cost you your relationships. Suffering and persecution, number four. Following Jesus. John 15, 20. Jesus warned that if, you, if, if the word persecutes me, it will persecute his followers. It means that if your God collects, you will collect. I'll say that again. Persecution. In this generation, that you don't, nobody should touch me soft life to follow Jesus. Have you seen what's happening in our world today? Bad is now good and good is bad. Hey, things are happening on the online. Yo. I saw people are doing abalis online now. No, 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 you understand? Back in the day, people used to to do abalist. You know, then, if those people in movie they want to go and see abalist, they used to, no, now we food tests. Aya! Somebody will say, I am a kinikon witch. I saw it. And a believer, you are there. I don't want to mention Jesus so much so that I don't push them away. Who has bewitched us? We are trying to make Jesus ap appealing to our world. Let me tell you something. Call the, carry the raw power of God. Power record. See, there is no way you can package power. If you carry the power and the trueness and the true spirit of God, out of you will flow rivers of living water. Get to a place. Papa said there was a madman. And they were, they said, tell the madman to enter my car. They said he saw a mad, they, let the madman, madness left. I said there are people that carry and it's based on following. Proximity determines what you carry. God has given us everything. But the manifestation of what God has given to us is activated by proximity. Some of you, you have many errand boards to get to God on your behalf. You know, you have turned your pastors to errand board. Pastor, please let me tell God that I'm calling him yesterday. He didn't pick his phone. Pastor, let me tell God. So when you come to prayer, you don't want to come with your own firewood. You come there waiting for everybody's fire. Somebody say, I'll be on fire for God. Hear me! It's going to cost you. Suffering and persecution. I dare you from today. Open your mouth and be bold about Christ. They are laughing at you. You wear clothes. You see somebody's wedding. I don't mention name. That cover breast and wear clothes wear. People are dragging this person online. And you are boring. I didn't know that we are doing cowbell online now. We are extracting milk. Huh? That's how we, just, we show everything everywhere. Yeah, some people are catching up with it. No, it's taking a while. <laughs> All of a sudden now, people that are doing fraudulent money are displaying it. And you a believer. I say, oh God, where with my own? Ah! You look at an unrighteous person and desire what they want. Because your bank account is not equal. There's an account you have that is over equal and over topping. You don't know what you carry. That's why you wish you have what they have. And that is why we are not seeing the number of domination because we have believers that actually desire what the world has. You can't conquer what you can't conquer what you have not sacrificed in your heart. Following Jesus, it will cost you. If you are single, you can't cohabit. If you have done it before, you stop it. Because now that you have hear me, you can't say you don't know again. Adultery, fornication is not 19th century thing. The Bible is everlasting. You don't understand? If they don't update it. doesn't have updated version. Even though some people now are updating Bible, I heard there's a she Bible now. All the places where you have the E, they've turned it to she. It's madness. You can't, you can't do such. You don't go to what your body wants. That's part of it, to follow Jesus. You subject this body to the Holy Ghost. I know of a woman, a friend, she watches cartoon. She can't afford to watch movie of man and woman. Because when she watches it, things will occur. You subject yourself. You don't listen to some kind of, you subject, you know why you don't listen to some kind of music, you see some kind of movie. Do you know, I've realized, something I know you do yourself, I've realized. There's some things I watch 
my dream is polluted. Anybody? Your dream is polluted. Your dream life. Do you know you're a spirit being? Meaning when you put word in your spirit, when you go to bed, there are interactions we have continuously. That is why you will wake up sometimes with a song. You will wake up sometimes with a scripture. But you have watched things. Then you wake up with some funny things. And you are battling, my thoughts come back, my thoughts come back. Watch what you're watching. And watch what you're listening to. Following Jesus will cost you money. Somebody money. money. Matthew 19, 21 to 22. It will cost you money. Oh. The story of the rich ruler illustrates the financial cost of following Jesus. Jesus told him to go and sell all his possessions and give to the poor. The brother said, give me time. I'll be back. It will cost you money. The gospel will cost you money. I heard of I'm not saying you should do it. There was a man of God that was sharing. They just shared a projection for the year. And somebody in the congregation got up to take an extra job. And every income of that extra job is going to the kingdom agenda. So I say, ah, oh God, when I have, I'll give. Mm -mm. Let's start from where you are. What are you doing with what you have? You see, I bet you think that all this light, it, it fell from heaven. No, 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 no. When we go to a place we buy, we don't say, give it to us, give it. No, 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 no. We, we took what people have given to purchase. Mission work, it requires money. Glory to God. Somebody say, radical commitment. Number six. Matthew 10, 37 to 39. Jesus teaches that anyone who loves father more than, more than him is not worthy of him. There must be a commitment at all costs to follow Jesus. And it requires carrying your cross every day. Matthew 10, 38. Matthew 10, 38. Jesus indicated that the disciples must carry up their cross. Meaning the willingness to endure hardship. Remember what I told you last week. You might not, some things you are still trusting God, but you are still moving on following Jesus. What are the requirements to follow? I'm just running through this so I can get to the other part of the service. What are the requirements to follow Jesus? Number one, you must have faith in Christ. To be a disciple, you must have personal relationship with him. You must have accepted him as your personal Lord and Savior. Number two, willingness to learn. For you to follow Jesus, listen, Peter has been used to catching fish, but this catching of men, there's a new way to do it. When I was about to go to bed, <laughs> This one is supposed to come later, later, but I'll show you. Willingness to learn. Hmm. Can you open your Bible to John chapter 6? My God. John chapter 6. Hiya. I sat down with this and I kept. <laughs> oh my God. My God. I pray that before we finish, God will reveal to the heart of many people if you are truly following God or you're trying to use God. Matthew chapter 6, from verse 60. Jesus was done teaching, was teaching. <laughs> I want to use NSB says, so verse 60, Matthew 6, 60. So then many of his disciples, when they heard this thing, they, they said, this statement is very unpleasant. Who can listen to it? Jesus being aware that they are complaining and asked, is this offensive to you? If you jump to mm, verse 66, Hey, as a result of this, of what? The teaching. Like, as a result of truth, some people got up and left Jesus. Are you a truth lover or a gift collector? It will tell as you follow Jesus. When you are following Jesus, listen, one of the things I came into awareness of so much this year, from last year to this year, as, as I pray, Father, make me a person of truth. You don't understand? Truth doesn't have respect for your feelings. Meaning, when truth comes, hey, the Bible says the truth you know. Shall what? Shall what? I can't hear you. The truth you know what? Church, it means that your freedom is tied to the portion of truth you know. So you're not truly free until truth has found roots inside of you. I was going to bed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to do this. And I would jump to Peter. That's how the Lord wanted me to. And I, I was going to bed. And I kept, this scripture kept coming to me. And I went to it. And I read different translation. Another one said, this teaching is too hard. How many of you have rejected things because it's hard? To be a follower of Jesus, my God, hard things you do, hard things you take. Ah! 
To be a follower of Jesus, it means it might not make logical sense to you, but Yahweh has said it. I don't debate it. Another translation said, oh, thank you, Jesus. He says, this is hard to understand. You know what surprised me, 66 says, is the way they all live. From that time, many disciples went back and walked with him no more. Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. May God come into your life and tell you one day, I said, my daughter, you're walking in disobedience. May you not say it's too hard for me to take. We God come into your life one day and say, my daughter, you're following me. It's time to give up your job. Like, May it not be too hard for you to take. We God come into your life one day and say, you are living in deceit. May it not be too hard because you are the one that is laying hands on people. Things are happening and God is telling you your consecration is affected. There's something wrong with your service. May it not be too hard for you to take. May Jesus come on your door and begin to say, you are walking, you are about to fall. Take ye lest you stand. May it not be too hard. May Jesus come one day and tell you that your sacrifice I don't take. Sit down. May it not be too hard for you to take. Listen to me. Anybody that is going to follow Jesus must learn how to embrace hard stuff. Must learn how to take difficult stuff. And sometimes this difficult stuff is going to pierce your spirit. Sometimes it's going to make you, hey, offense will rise up on your inside. But you have to hold it and say, who is speaking to me? Is it Jesus speaking to me? Either directly or through the people you has put in your life. Art stuff. All through the night, I started checking different translations. Why did I come here? For you to follow Jesus, you must have the willingness to learn. Somebody said, another verse says, they said this thing it teaches too difficult. Nobody can agree with it. Bear in mind, Sama, they just ate, they are giving them bread. In our context, has giving you marriage, giving you house, giving you money, giving you things. It gets to a time my God. And this is a major part of the making of a disciple. It gets to a time that the idols of your heart will be revealed. It takes humility to be able to say, though I desire this, has it taken me away from my position of a son? Would you see the net break and leave it and follow Jesus? Is somebody catching what I'm saying? The cost of following, what position you need to take. Verse 66, somebody else says, and they left. Hmm. Look at what God said to them. They said they left them. They did not go with him anymore. I love the way message or TPT puts it. I'm going somewhere. He said that this is too difficult. It's too tough to swallow. Yeah. Tough teaching. And they said they left him. Let's go to 66. I'm just reading different. After a while, many of the disciples left. Look at this. Look at this. Message translation. And they no longer wanted to be associated with him. You are in church one day and we are preaching. I say, if you are living with a man, stop it. And you know that you don't have accommodation. Let's be together. There is no accommodation. Lando ko surara but the Lord says, you can't. He said, but first, sir, we're not doing anything. You're not doing anything, but what is it? What is it testifying to other people? So the day your body moves, you say, you're not, hey, hey, I, I can't do it as kill people. You understand? You can speak in tongues, be speaking in tongues and fornicate. You know what? The giftings of God, I would repeat, your, your moons doesn't understand. Blah, 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 blah. What you understand is that you run, you flee. You understand? So you're staying with somebody, but you don't have accommodation. So you know that the cost of that difficult word means I have to respond. So I will have to pack out to a place I don't know. I will have to beg somebody, can I stay? Then you have to not exercise faith to find a place to stay. Oh, you are a man, you love, but you're struggling with, with infidelity or being faithful to your wife or being a wife faithful to your husband. Your emotions, and let God help you. Your partner is giving you the reason to cheat. Careless, they don't care. To follow God has nothing to do with other people, but what has everything to do with God. So your ability to choose, it will cost you. He said it's a very difficult word. Look at what Jesus said, verse 6. He turned to Peter and said, Peter, do you also want to leave? Ladies and gentlemen, guess what happened? After this sermon, the people that left with Jesus were the 12. Can I tell you, on your journey to being a disciple, 
there comes a time. I pray you will not fail that day. There comes a time where Yahweh will, you, you will find everything else, but Jesus will not be there. The question is, will you go with what you've seen or you will stay back like Moses? That If you don't go with me, I am not going. It will cost you. Peter said, where are we going? We've left everything. You, what you say to us is life. Therefore, we're staying with us. With that said, let's look at the case study of Peter. Are you with me? Mm. Can we spend some time to pray? Let me explain. I'm, I'm thinking about something. Let me explain. Remember when I was working in the bank? <sighs> I have many test examples. For marriage, there was a guy I really liked. I had to give up that guy. Not because P.O. was already in the picture. And the reason was, sir, the guy's vision, it does not align with what God wanted us to do. Great guy. Ah, nice guy. He's the kind of guy that's when you're, he's one that, others, you know all those men that will open door for you? If you're in the kitchen and you're, I've told you this right now, if you're cutting onions, he's washing plates. My beloved Bio, he, <laughs> but in the grand scheme of things, my destiny does not require, it's not door opening that my destiny needs. Because I'm not crippled and my hands are not broken. When he remembers, bless his soul, he will open it. But imagine I trade destiny for door opening. He opened door for me. May I not open door into lack of fulfillment of purpose? Mm. Because all the things I've had to do in the last one year has tested everything we believed. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pastors, we are firewood, meaning that I've had to trap with being apart from ourselves. And if you understand me, I'm gumbody. Both of us are gumbody. We like to be with ourselves. But for the sake of the mission of God, as a disciple, we are stayed apart and doing God's work. Mm. Meaning, when your body longs for your partner, what do you do? I will worship the Lord for he is worthy. You are leading a ministry. You are seeing the money, but you are hungry. That won't count in offering. But you never know how to transport. You go, go. Let me quickly help God. I'm telling you, what do you do when nobody's watching? As a follower of Jesus. I'm just thinking about my life. You know, some days my mother is here. My mom too say, all on you eh? Meaning God saved you. When, when she look at my life, say, ah, okwelofe. Meaning it's your husband you married. Ani, hey. Number, you see purpose? What's a purpose? I will tell you probably what I'll be doing. I'll be attending all the prayer mountains. To seek the face of the Lord for the restitution of my home. Your prayer book was nation. Who is the nation? God said to the nation of my house. You see, if the devil wants to destroy you, sometimes some of you adultery, fornication on your portion, introduce a wrong person to your life. Not just marriage, oh, a wrong person, a wrong association. Somebody, somebody that brings an idol. Read through the kings. What happened with Ahab? He brought idol for the Israelites to begin to worship. My God. This is the test of discipleship. Does your consecration permit the people you are associating with? I have that example. I have an example of when in the bank. God used it for me. He said, come. You are going to tell me one place I was going. I said, in a lie. We're not like it was a lie. <laughs> it was going to be another journey of discovering from a place of earning what I wanted. To go and volunteer. Volunteer. There are so many things that will come up in your life. Will you pay the price? Some of you, God is calling you every day. Wake up. Pray. We are there. You, have you noticed? Mm. Your flesh. Mm. Mm -hmm. The people are laughing because they know what I was saying. You see, your flesh can keep awake for hours. Have you noticed? Try and watch movie. How I many of you watch series? Don't worry, you don't do like this. This is where. Well, let's keep your eye. Have you tried to pray for that hour and you don't fall asleep? 
Some of it is not movies, some of it is news. Thank you. Football. The passion you have for God, do you have it when you are studying the Bible? Do you have it for running? You can keep track of everything. When the Asna is beating Eimba, Eimba. <laughs> you know when Asna and Eimba, Eimba are doing what? Playing. Aya, you know all the names of the player. DJ Okota. And uh, you see them? They are even correcting me. DJ Okota and Saka are playing for England. But listen, how many times have they given you wrong scripture and you take it because you don't know? Because you are feeding on everything else but on the word. That's why false doctrine will thrive with some people. But you see how I talk JJ for, no, say, oh, somebody at best, don't do that PI. JJ was retired. <laughs> Can you quote 10 scripture without paraphrasing it? When last did you pray and stay with the Lord without your phone interrupting you? How many have gone to a place of prayer as you want to pray, one email comes in and before you know it, you leave the place of prayer? How many of us are used to using tongues to shock um, to keep yourself company while you sweep. The best time you pray in tongues is shabra, bra, 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 shabra, bra, bra. How I know that something, a lot of Zoom meetings has come is because when your mic is unmuted, we hear, shalewa, shalewa. What happened to that air? It's never about what we are doing. You are not even praying in tongues. Rakka, but if we hear your tongue, we are praying for the meeting. No, uh -uh, no, no, no. You see what JJ did for a series in the meeting. And then you are commenting, there, wow. But they are not hearing anything. Somebody's thinking about their life. A lot of us are following Jesus absent-mindedly. And that is why you cannot replicate a lot of things that God has done for you. You don't know how it happens. Some of you don't, can't tell whether you engage the word or was the mercy of God. The mercy of God is through his word, but you can't tell. So you don't know how you So that is why something else will come up. You don't know what to do because in the first place, you didn't even know what to do. Maybe it was just the mercy of God or association that helped you. If anything happened to you, do you know what to do? If something happened to you now, do you say, give me a minute, you know what to do. You know how to, you know that when I lock myself in the, in the, in the room, when I carry the Bible, it, God will speak. Do you know, I have traveled plenty of places. You see people asking the same question. Hey, P, I understand, ma. Well, especially when we do panel. Please, can you explain to me, really, what can I do? And I tell them what, they look at me. I said, you know, I understand it, but is, in, is there another way? I said, there's no way. The only way is the word. So follow Jesus. Will he speak some words into your heart and you receive it? A disciple of Jesus is the one that loves truth. So meaning as you read the scripture, when last did it come to your heart that I am falling short of this and you are lying? The word of God is not just comfort though. The word of God pierces. The word of God corrects. Let's look at Peter. Glory to God. Somebody say amen. amen. No. We'll do Peter next week. I was going to show you the track record of Peter. Peter was not a great guy. At best, would have ended as a fisherman. But you know who Peter is. You know that Peter is one of the foundation of the new heavens. Where did, which ambition do you want to have it? You mean Peter will just be catching fish? I say one day, I have a dream that one day I'll be the foundation of the. Did you even know what is new heaven? But in following Jesus, he found his purpose. Can I tell you today? Whatever you think you are doing, if you are not yet following Jesus with all your heart, I can bet with you, you are still living beneath the best of God. Until you follow Jesus. I want us to spend time to pray. Let's go back to that scripture. There's a reason why the Lord kept showing. Last week I was telling you about follow Jesus. And I dared the devil that wants to follow you into intimacy. I'm telling you, in following Jesus, hmm, thank you Holy Spirit. Can I have like, if you know you have never come out before in church to do demonstration, come. Five of you. <laughs> and I follow Jesus. Lele, you, this part of following. Yes, thank you very much. Don't nominate. No, no, no. Some of you are, 
I don't, I don't reject you. I, I love you. Please, please go back. They know themselves. You know that normally if they call this kind of thing, you will never come out. Come out. You know you will never come out. Where are the men? Joseph, come outside. Yes, come out. Lumi, come outside. You know yourself, oh. Dan, Dan De, come outside. Dan De, come outside. Lumi is the one that will do Jesus because it's Lumi that look like Jesus. <laughs> if your Jesus is like this, who do you follow him? Now, another way to look at follow Jesus is Matthew 6.33. Seek it first. I've done this over and over a, lot, a number of times. And so I want you, some of you are just here for props. You don't need to come outside for things. We want to come outside. It's a new season of, can you clap for them? And see, and I'm following. Don't go back. You don't stand by keyboard. You are not decoration with keyboard. We are here for assignments. Now, Lumi, you are Jesus. Please come here. I want to use small to say the story of my life. So one of the things my mom, my parent gave me was Jesus. And I was thinking about it some days ago. I said, Mom, we suffer, but we suffer with Jesus. <laughs> it's bad that you suffer, and you suffer with nothing. It's always worst. So Jesus, oh, you are calling me now. Tell me to follow you. Oh, it's holding my hand, and I'm going with Jesus. So suffer is suffering us. So sometimes daily bread, not daily, is weekly bread. But in following Jesus, come to me. Come to me. Touch, come to my back. Just put your hand on my shoulder. When we came with Jesus, he didn't first give us just bread. In following him, we found bread. All of a sudden, weekly eating became three times eating to daily eating. In following Jesus, I just love Jesus. I found something about the presence of God. And that led to what we call When Friends Pray Today that started 17 years ago. I, I just encountered something of the presence of God and I wanted everybody. So this thing that now people are talking about, bearing in mind there was no social media, I didn't know anything. I didn't know. It was even called in his presence. Vision, follow. I didn't even know his vision. But just serving God started. Remember, look at, it's not me chasing them. They are the one attaching. Because really what they are responding to is not me, it's God. Because let's go back. In the timeline, look at, as we come in front of everything. Please come back a bit. So in doing this, I enter a relationship. No, no, let's say academics. I waited for some years before, like three years before going. Because I was doing Ibadan, nothing. But God knew my destiny is not in Ibadan. It's in the University of Lagos. And God knew that I was going to do law. No, because I can talk. But God knew it's not law. I wanted to do post science because one of the things I'm doing now has to do with government, government, the church, politics. I'm in class doing my MA. I'm looking at something I'm like, someone, what's your background? I say political science. Oh, now it makes sense. It didn't make sense because I absent mindedly pick. But when you are following Jesus, nothing is absent mindedly. It's if you are not following that, God can allow chance to happen to you. But you are following Jesus, everything is intentional and deliberate. So, school, join. See, no matter how much I'm praying, Lord, ma, ma, ma. No, you be woman, no. Ma, please come. <laughs> yeah. No matter how much I'm praying, just imagine that this is P.O., please, for the sake of, just imagine that it's P.O. No matter how I'm praying, God, give me man. But Jesus is looking for us. Come on, baby. Just be dragging me. I'm tired, God. He's fooling me. That's how, because following, I say it's only you that can do Jesus now. So follow him means that sometimes he's pulling you. Marriage flowing. Oh my God, I'm married. Not just married anyhow. I'm married. Heaven on earth marriage. Because the assignments, this following, if you follow him, he will sort you out. Well, I do it. Uh, I do it. The next thing. Another job. Enter. Because of following. Hmm. As we're following on God, uh, so what do we want? Purpose. Defining of purpose. Join. I've always wanted to be, an, my desire was to be a diplomat. To travel nations, being a diplomat. In following Jesus, I traded that desire without knowing. So my eyes down is down. But I want to be a diplomat that follow Jesus. And he's shouting, nations. Nations are coming. But this time around, it's not, it's not going to start with you in UN. It's going to start with you preaching the gospel. Well, no, it's UN I want. Follow me. And all of a sudden, nations is joining. In the last one year, I always see that I think I've lived in the plain more than I've lived on land. If it's possible. Look at all of a sudden, I'm looking back like, wow, everything I wanted and more is redefining for me. Where did it come from? Following Jesus. The next thing is say, ministry, is a mini woo, join. The next thing is say, church, join. The next thing is say, you know what? Children, 
join. You know why I'm so secured about them? They are inside the following. In the following is prosperity. In the following is the marriage. In the following is the children. If I stop following, if people are not following him, are having children, how much more me than following him? And everything. This is now the manifestation of Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And every other thing. Look at them. Hey, follow me. Follow me. There you are. Lead the way. Follow me. Follow me. I need money. Follow me. I need house. Follow me. God, I want to win. So remember, this following is not for getting help. He's using me for what he wants. Before, my mouth is sharp like razor. Now I'm learning to control. Your own, before, I, I, don't, I, I don't take it. Now you're taking it. You say, yes, I take it. For the sake of the gospel. Yes, I'm gentle. Yes, I'm doing it. Why? He's making me. He said, follow me and I will transform you. Hey, meaning when you are done, you will recognize your life. Thank you so much. Follow me. Follow me. So when you are done, you will not recognize your life. Follow me. I was thinking about it. I want to go to nations. And it's amazing. Amazing. But the nations is not opening for us by me going to be a diplomat. For a nation on earth. For a diplomat. For a nation embedded in heaven. Who is ready to follow? Today, what I want you to pray. Trade your own idea for God's idea. Trade your own version. I will lie if it has not cost tears. I will lie to say that we have not been hurt on this journey. I would like to say that even I'm looking at the next, the thing that God is trying to tell me, that I'm thinking he's telling me to do. I'm looking, I told people yesterday, I said, people, I'm freaking out on the inside. But I know one thing, and the Lord says, stop, no, you're freaking out, no problem. Look at the last one here. And I said, remember what I always say to you? I said, yes, Lord, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Strength is a miracle. If the Lord, by my God, I will run through a troop. By my God, I will leap over walls. There is no impossibility in my God. Why? He is my God. Therefore, I do not face impossibility. I do this joyfully. I find all the help I need. You provide for me. You open up doors. Why? I'm following. I tell you. That day, that lady was giving a testimony. I looked at it. It was yesterday. The Lord said, Mr. Process with me. How would you have done this in one year of trying to advance education is the same year that we're doing ministry back to back. Literally, some days, my mother, bless her, she said, hey, because one day I am in one continent, the next couple of hours, I'm in another. I could not have, and guess what? He's providing for all of it. I know what is funny? Every nation we get to, there's somebody the Lord has prepared waiting for us. You can't plan it. Follow me. And it's not because of nation, that's why it makes it good. Some of you, your following will lead you to a village. Your following will make you to be a teacher. You will give up oil, oil and gas for teaching. You will give up six digits for four. Your following will lead you, some of you, will keep you in that, I, I heard for somebody, your following is what is keeping you in the waiting room. Nothing do you, it's just that you're following God. And because it's on schedule, in due time, it will happen. Can you rise on your feet? Follow God. You have spent so much time. Open your mouth and say, Father, today, transform me from a fisher of my business to a fisher of you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I'm telling you, you might feel a certain way. In Jesus' name. I just felt led to say this. I'll share it with somebody this week. Am I talking about sexual desires? Somebody testified in this house a while ago that she was attracted to the same sex. And I said to them, you see, for anybody listening to me and you're struggling, and I told this person, I said, I can't wait for the world to hear your testimony because you're not fighting for yourself alone, you're fighting for your generation. One of the most prevailing battles we're fighting right now is our identity. And my darling, I, I know your feelings. You were born like that. You love it. If, if the person shared their story, how even the worst parents have said, you, you, you can't help it. You want to like my man. You can't like my. You want to like woman. Woman, you can't like. But there's something you can do. Follow Jesus. Sometimes you stagger. No problem. Keep following Jesus. Not Jesus of your version. But Jesus of the word version. Because you listen, when you follow God, these desires. I told the person, I said, well, Lord, open my eyes to see this way. 
You see the issue about sexuality? The church has, maybe you've heard people say, it's going away, it's not going. No, 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 no. Sir, those of you that are married, have you not seen another woman that say, hey, baby, baby, anybody? Okay, no one raise hand, maybe your wife did beside you. Have you not seen another woman, another version that is more, have you not been tempted? If you have been tempted, just cough. <laughs> woman, have you not been tempted? Cough. What makes you not to open clothes for another person is the same thing that will make somebody struggle with homosexuality to determine that though I feel it, I cannot subject myself to it. Why? Jesus said so. I wish there's an emotional reason to tell you. All your hormones are doing like this. You tell your hormones. There's a spirit in man. The spirit of the almighty give it the understanding. Now that is in me, every spirit will bow. So as you are praying now, you are praying the father, every hindrance to my following, I subject them. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Come on church, open your mouth and begin to pray. Any hindrance to my following? Is it tiredness? Don't worry, come as you are, no problem. No problem, you are loved, we love you. We will, we, no, come on. Come on, open your mouth. I said, father, yeah, 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 yeah. I heard there's something in my spirit. Come on, I hear something in my spirit. Say, Father, give me a higher version of myself. Reveal the higher version. Father, give me a compelling vision. Hey, if Peter could see, that is not just fish he will catch. I'm sure he will be able to keep going. How do I know when Jesus went back to Peter? Jesus said, Peter, feed my sheep. Love me more than this. Somebody cry out today. Jesus, give me a higher version of myself. A compelling vision. A compelling vision that will make me sacrifice all. That will make me give up myself. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a man that found a dwell. He will sell everything else to keep that dwell. Open your mouth, somebody pressing this morning. Give me a compelling vision. Give me a compelling reason to keep pursuing. Somebody say, I am tired doing it my way. I am tired going my way, Jesus. Son of David. I hear the Lord say, somebody call me by covenant. Somebody call me by covenant. Son of David, have mercy on me. Somebody, nations is waiting for you. Souls are waiting for you, but you have to follow. He has to make you. He has to make you. Somebody cry out this morning. Make me Jesus. Make me Jesus. I hear for somebody, fire is coming on your tongue because you are a preacher, because you have the message of life for your industry. Hey, let the fire be shut up in your belly. Somebody, there's somebody that God has created about you. Somebody ask for a generation. I can hear you. Cry out. Say, God, give me a generation. Lord, give me a generation. I hear the Lord is dealing with sexual sins this morning. Anybody that is struggling with any form of sexual issue, begin to talk to God. I say, Jesus, I commit myself to you. Come on, come on, come on. Pray, pray, keep praying. You don't walk alone. You don't walk alone. You have the backing of the Almighty. Somebody with sickness. Say, Father, I receive light about divine health. Therefore, sickness will not stop me from following. Every time you want to obey God, that's when you, you begin to fall sick. Every time you want to do things for God, that's when you don't have strength. But Jesus, I find strength today. Somebody cry, 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 cry. Somebody shout, 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 shout. Bring it down. Guess what I just saw in my spirit? Because now you're going to use Thanksgiving to finish this prayer. Sir, I just saw something in my spirit. Somebody said, somebody thank me that you're staying in the fight. I think you didn't hear me. God, but somebody, God is saying, well done, you are still in the fight. You've been feeling very tired of late. But God said, no, 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 darling, you are still in the fight. And you know what it means to still be in the fight? Somebody, you are still in the fight. It means that you are more than conqueror. If you are still standing, the one that has won it is still standing with you. Somebody, by your God, you will run through a troop. So you are going to open your mouth and say, Father, thank God. I am still in the fight. What is this fight? It's the fight of faith. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. I am not one over. The fact that you are still in church, that's why everything you have been through, it shows the fact that you are still praying, the fact that you are still worshiping. You have one more minute. One more minute. One more minute. 
Bring it down. The first thing for you to be a follower of Jesus is to give your life to Christ. So if you're here, you want to give your life to Christ or rededicate your life, can you raise your hand? Anybody? Don't be shy. Maybe you were once born, you were born again, but you think you fell by the wayside. Just raise your hand. Anybody in the house? Thank you so much for that hand. Thank you. Anybody else? Raise your hand. Thank you so much. Thank you. Just raise the eye. Pastors, can you help me? There's somebody here. One pastor here. One pastor. There are people here. If you can do me a good thing, can you run to the forward? Come, come forward. Don't be shy. Come, come, come. Can we celebrate them, church? Can we celebrate them? Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Come forward. Ushers, be by their, by their role and we're watching over their backs. Come on. Come on. I can see you rejoicing. It doesn't matter what your title is. Come forward. Run, 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 run. Is there anybody else? And I'm going to pray with you. Come, come, come. Anybody else? There's one more person. There's one more person. Anybody else? You're saying, why do I have to come out? Because you're showing. Now, you know what? I'm a new creature. We're not coming out with shame. You're coming out. There's one more person. You want to rededicate your life to Jesus. Hallelujah. Don't be shy. I hear this God say, shame the devil. Come out. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost Church. Heaven is rejoicing over you. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Come out, come out, there's one person. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Church, rejoice. Church, rejoice. Now stretch forth your hands over them. Now, if you're outside, say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it boldly, Lord Jesus. Your daughter is here. I renounce my old ways. I renounce the struggling ways. And I say, Lord, be my Savior, my Lord, and my Father. Today, I boldly declare, I am born again. Today, I boldly declare, I rededicate my life to you. Lord Jesus, I receive the infilling of the Holy Ghost to help me on this journey. And my life will never, ever remain the same. In the name of Jesus. Church, can you rejoice? Please hold on. Do you have the forms for them? No, do you have the forms? Bring the forms so we give them here. Church, can you stretch out your hand and bless them from the depth of your heart? Open your mouth. Bless them from the depth of your heart. Come on, come on, come on. You are blessed. I pray over you. In the name of Jesus. Go and prosper. In the name of Jesus. Prosper is a new season. 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 Prosper in the name of Jesus. Do we have the forms? You want to do something for us? Please just give them the forms. So just note where they are going. As you go back to your seats, we have one usher. Please let them go to their seats, please. Their seats, please. Go to their seats. Feel a form. Feel the form. Please. I need an usher on this aisle and on each aisle to notice where they are and get the form because we are going to personally call you and follow you up by the grace of God. Church, are you grateful and happy to be a follower of Jesus? So as you go through this week, remember what I just shared with you. In following, every other thing will be added. So anything that is disturbing you, don't worry. Follow Jesus. He's on schedule. You may be seated. Amen.